Predicting the future is hard. The Reader's Digest in 1966 imagined rocket packs on our belts and climate-controlled cities under glass domes by 1999. Science fiction author Isaac Asimov correctly foresaw many things about the future, but in 1964 he also reckoned that flying cars would be common by 2014. And in 1973, John Sawyer at the Met Office predicted the world would warm at 0.6 Celsius by the year 2000 because of increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Only one of those predictions was close to the mark, and it was one of the first climate projections ever made using a computer. Since then, as science and technology have advanced, further climate projections have given us more and more information about how the world's climate could change in the future. The message has been clear and consistent. The world will continue to warm because of human emissions of greenhouse gases. A 2021 United Nations report into climate change, which summarized all the latest research from hundreds of scientists around the world, projected between 1.2 and 3.0 Celsius of warming above the Earth's pre-industrial temperature by the 2050s. But how is it possible to predict the Earth's temperature in 30 years when predicting the weather beyond 7 to 10 days is still so challenging? There's a key difference between weather forecasts and climate projections. Predicting the maximum temperature for Birmingham on Tuesday the 11th of June 2052 is a technically impossible weather forecast. Predicting that by the 2050s an average June in the UK will be warmer than in the 2020s is a climate projection. Day-to-day -day weather varies a lot. It's so dependent on the position of high pressure, low pressure and weather fronts. Seasonal averages will also vary depending on sea surface temperatures, the position of the jet stream and the strength of winds in the stratosphere, among other things. Oscillations in the temperature of the Earth's oceans and cycles in the sun's activity can also impact the Earth's temperature from year to year. We will continue to see these oscillations day to day and year to year in the future. Weather forecasting is about predicting these oscillations and trying to follow them forward as far as possible. Climate projections are about predicting how the baseline for these oscillations and the size of the extremes will change in the future. This depends on the balance of incoming and outgoing heat in the atmosphere, which is modified by greenhouse gases. Without greenhouse gases, which block some of the Earth's heat from escaping into space, the average temperature of the planet would be around 18 Celsius lower. And as humans emit more and more greenhouse gases, its temperature rises further. There is a range of likely temperatures by the 2050s and an even larger range by the 2090s, partly because of uncertainties in the modelling, but also partly because our future climate depends on how much we reduce greenhouse gases in the year to come. Under all scenarios, climate models predict increased ice melt, sea level rise, floods, heat waves and wildfires in the future. We need to become resilient to the climate impacts we can't avoid. But the degree to which these things happen is ultimately up to us, and it's not too late to avoid the worst consequences of climate change. It's only by taking immediate action to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions that we can make sure the worst case predictions of climate change will be about as accurate as those 1960s predictions of jetpacks and flying cars. Thank you for watching this video about how climate projections work and why they are not exactly the same as forecasting the weather. This is the sixth and final video in our Met Office series on uncertainty in meteorology. If you'd like to catch up on the full series, check out our Up in the Air playlist. Oh, and make sure you subscribe so you never miss an update.